Welcome back to another edition of Short, right here in the OG Renton chair. Yes, the one and the same. Smoking a Lucky Strike cigarette, sorting the world's problems out, finishing my monster drink, and just got out the shower. So, I've been kind of crabby lately, because my brother died like a year ago, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> Pardon me, folks, I just took my morning meds and shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm coughing my fucking guts out. So this cold was the devil. <clears throat> Damn it. And I'm kind of in one of those moods today. Um, I got text about five last night, you know, from Steve in the wheelchair. Uh, the old dude, you know, the old 1% biker with one leg. Uh, he was a pretty cool guy. I say was. Uh, it was like, uh, apparently the text said that he blew his brains out last night. So it'd be night before last. And, you know, the last thing I remember that night was, you know, him and I were drunk, shitting on the phone, you know, having a good time, you know, shooting the shit, telling stories, you know, things that fucking pals do when they get sloshed together. And, you know, he sounded pretty normal and healthy, man. And, uh. Well, I mean, you know, he's sick, obviously. You know, he's old, he's dying. That's not his problem anymore now, is it? Uh, so, yeah. There's that to deal with. So, you know, mental health's a thing, folks. Uh, you know, mine's not always been the best. Although, given my current circumstances in life, I definitely could have done it a lot worse than I have been. <clears throat> but, you know... Uh, I don't know if he really had any family or not. I mean, obviously, he ended up the fucking Boise rescue mission. So, uh, if he did have family, they probably didn't care for him very much. You know, he was loud, cantankerous, you know, crabby old man. Like, smoke Newport 100s, you know, the menthols. <clears throat> you know, drink Budweiser tall boys out the can. <clears throat> You know, we were talking about getting a house together and shit when he moved out this end of town from Boise. And, uh, you know, hanging out, getting porch drunk at his drinking porch, you know. You know, just normal shit, you know. Well, goes to show you, man, sometimes people in your life, you know, they come in and out of it unexpectedly. So, yeah, I'm kind of feeling down about that today. That, I'm a little drowsy from some of these meds, uh, that gabapentin thing. I, I don't think I've taken that in my adult life. So that'd definitely be one I probably avoid taking with booze. But, you know, took my Z-Pack and my prednisone. So that's about the only good thing about Medicaid, you get free meds. But yeah, check on your loved ones, man, your friends, your family, you know. Tell them you love them. Give them a hug when you see them. You know, I feel real bad that night we had to go to the doctor, you know, and it took so long I could not get there to go have a tall boy with the old guy. And, you know, when he called later, uh, I told him, I said, I'm sorry, dude, my ride fucked me off. He said, yeah, you get it next time. Don't worry. Well, there is no next time. <sighs> but, yeah, I'm having a hard time breathing. Uh, I'm going to go in and sit down. And, uh, mellow out on the cigarettes. I have to call the health and welfare today because they didn't call me yesterday and I don't want to lose my food stamps. Uh, I need those, you know, but yeah, it just goes to show you, man, hug your loved ones. You know, it was probably the closest thing to a loved one he had, you know, but yeah, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day, man. Suicide can eat my shorts.